popping pills. Did you know that more Americans take antidepressants than go to the movies each week? That's according to the Centers for Disease Control. So tonight, we wanted to know why so many people seem to need a happy pill. Eric Fink is here to take a look. Donna Michelle, as the diagnosis of depression has increased, so too have the medications to treat the illness. But just because the meds are available doesn't mean they are the most effective. Tonight, I ask a doctor and a patient, do antidepressants really work? I just don't feel right. People are constantly asking me if things are okay. Those are red flags to me that something's wrong. Carrie Carpenter has been on a combination of Zoloft and Prozac for the better part of two decades. A couple months worth of antidepressants and I'd be back to normal. The 32-year-old was first given a prescription at 13. Looking back, Carpenter says at that stage in her life, meds weren't the best choice. Sometimes that's just giving out instead of talking. There's some kind of an anti-medical attitude. People should just buck up, pull themselves up by their bootstraps, get over it, and do what has to be done. That's fine, except it doesn't work. Dr. Jeff Berlant is a Treasure Valley psychiatrist who argues in many patients, antidepressants are effective. But too often, he says, those suffering from major depression are undertreated because of that stigma, and they don't get help. So why is almost 10% of the U.S. population turning to a happy pill? Over the years, the number of patients and the number of antidepressants have increased. It's not that Dr. Berlant believes the society is over-medicated. He says multiple patients have to take multiple antidepressants in order to find a road to a cure in a field that is surely an inexact science. For months and years, and they don't feel any better on it, but they're still on it because they're depressed, so they should be on an antidepressant. That's not good psychopharmacology. Antidepressants don't work to just treat unhappiness. Berlant argues the best medicine can be a combination, pill and counseling. Carrie Carpenter agrees, but is grateful to know she can turn to a pill when necessary. I'm not on it 24-7 my whole life. It's nice to know that it's there. Dr. Berlant says one of the reasons people do not seek mental health care is the lack of resources. He says too often, some have to choose between putting food on the table and seeking treatment. The psychiatrist says it's all part of dealing with broken chemistry in a broken system. Live tonight in studio, Eric Fink, Today 6 News. Coming up next on Today's 6 News, live at 10, heavy drinking and seedy hangouts. Scandalous new...